Let's go. Sometimes I gotta let you win, bud, for confidence. <laughs> I'm Coach Justin Watts, coach of tight ends, recruiting coordinator. This is my son, Chase. Uh, he's 10 years old and going into fifth grade. This is Kendall. She's going into third grade. She is eight years old. And I won't say my wife's age. She's 40, 40 I'm just kidding. This is my wife, Lauren. The time that I got to spend with my family that this time of year I normally don't get to has kind of been a blessing. So, you know, we've, we come out in the yard and hit and baseballs and hit softballs and shoot basketball. And I'm able to try to help with the schoolwork and that type of stuff. So just the amount of family time, it's been awesome. Got to see what recruiting's like and watch that process, overhear it from the basement and maybe pop in in a few Zoom calls with recruits. That's been fun. We basically got to know each other. The people in Boone are unique. The people here love what they have here and they understand that it's special. You know, you kind of try to explain it to people and, and people really don't get it and understand it until they come and they walk down King Street or they're at Kid Brewer on a Saturday. It's um, the most wonderful sense of community here. Having kids here is fantastic. You never meet a stranger in Boone, so it's such a community and I think they love it. Kendall, what yeah. do you like about Boone? I like that it's very, very clean here, the air and everything, and I really like that it's very safe yeah. area and that everybody we meet is like very kind. True. And it's just beautiful. I like living here. All my friends are great and our neighborhood is fantastic. You like the football game. And I, I love having App State football because they win a lot. We get to go to bowl games. <laughs> I like and football because we get to travel so much and I get to learn new things. I like the sports I play because there's lots of good sports here. I play baseball, basketball, and football. Monday afternoon when we're getting re we're usually getting ready for our specialty meetings, I slip out for an hour and a half and I go downstairs and I, and I watch him and it's, uh, it's the best part of my week. I mean, I enjoy watching him run around and score touchdowns and just seeing the joy and the passion that that, that has um, brings to his life and uh, I get to sit there with my wife and my daughter and watch that and not not a lot of guys in this profession get to do that so it's it's really exciting. And our tight ends came and cheered Chase on yeah. last yeah. year and that was awesome. They were really loud and proud for him. So. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to watch you play. I can't wait to watch you play. Playmakers make plays. Don't back down. Fight every step. Fight. Give me the last play. Fight every step. Football has been the life, really. Grew up. My dad was my head football coach in high school. Um, after high school, I went and played at Clemson in 96 through 2000. There were always guys around me that were more talented than I was. Um, there were guys that were going to run faster, jump higher, catch better. You know, all those, all those things. But sometimes you just got to be a football player. You asked me to do a job and I was going to go out and give 100% um, doing that, you know, because I didn't want to let my teammates down, my coaches down, the fans down, my family down. And, and that's, we, we want to be surrounded with guys like that. I want guys that love football. App State has won so many games and will continue to win games because we recruit players that have a chip on their shoulder. You know, everybody else thought they were a little too short or a little too slow, not quick enough. And then they come here and they realize that we train a little bit different on the mountain and they get after it. And you get a group of men like that with a goal and they become hard to beat. We have a unique situation here where we're located, the history that we've had with, with our football tradition and the part of history that these kids can come in and create. I mean, now you're telling kids to come in and, hey, look, you just coming in and join a team that just went 13 and one and look at the facilities we're building. There's a lot of good football players in the country with, with good grades that we're attracted to. So, our deal is to make sure we choose the right ones. We're not going to back down recruiting anybody. I tell everybody to recruit. If we bring 10 kids on campus, two of them are going to, they're going to go down the mountain and they say, hey, that's not for me. And, and we get it. And that's fine. And we're different. We're unique. And that's what makes us special. But those other eight, they're going to fight to see who gets those scholarships and uh, you know, want to be here. <laughs>